Why do 75% of ticket holders love Zomato's new feature and 25% think it's risky? This new feature has certainly stirred up a lot of discussions and debates among users and experts alike. Zomato recently launched a Book Now Sell Anytime feature letting users resell tickets if their plans change. This means that if you have a ticket to an event but can no longer attend, you can easily sell it to someone else through the app. This flexibility is a game changer for many users who often find their plans changing at the last minute. But is this legal? The legality of this feature is a complex issue that involves various laws and regulations. Legal experts have mixed opinions. Some believe that the feature is perfectly legal, while others think it might be skating on thin ice. Yash Kumar from Spark Legal says reselling might be fine since tickets aren't essential goods. He argues that since tickets are not necessities like food or medicine, the laws governing their resale are less stringent. Central laws usually target black marketing of necessities, not entertainment tickets. This means that the resale of tickets for concerts, movies and other events is generally not as heavily regulated. However, Shashank Agarwal from the Delhi High Court points out that consumer protection laws still apply. He emphasizes that even though tickets are not essential goods, consumers still have rights that need to be protected. Some states like Rajasthan and Tripura even have laws against ticket resale. These state-specific laws add another layer of complexity to the issue, making it difficult for a nationwide platform like Zomato to navigate the legal landscape. This complicates things for Zomato depending on where you're reselling. The company will need to ensure that it complies with the laws of each state where it operates, which could be a logistical nightmare. Now, what about price caps? Price caps are another important aspect to consider when discussing the resale of tickets. Kunal Sharma from Singhania and Co. notes that capping resale prices at twice the original could still cause price spikes. He explains that while a price cap might seem like a good idea, it could still lead to inflated prices, especially for high demand events. It's a good idea in theory, but hard to enforce. Implementing and enforcing price caps would require significant resources and could be challenging to manage effectively. Zomato will need strict measures like know your customer protocols to prevent misuse. These measures would help ensure that the platform is not used for fraudulent activities and that all transactions are legitimate. And remember, India doesn't have specific laws against ticket scalping. This lack of specific legislation means that the resale of tickets operates in a somewhat grey area with different interpretations of existing laws. The Indian Contract Act 1872 covers contracts as long as both parties agree without deceit. This means that as long as the buyer and seller are both honest and transparent, the transaction is generally considered legal. In some states, ticket resale is regulated. These regulations vary from state to state, adding another layer of complexity to the issue. For example, Maharashtra bans selling tickets above face value for certain events. This means that if you are reselling a ticket in Maharashtra, you need to be careful not to charge more than the original price. And legal cases show that as long as there's no fraud, reselling tickets is mostly allowed. This means that as long as the transaction is honest and transparent, it is generally considered legal. So, while Zomato's feature offers convenience, it operates in a legal grey area. The company will need to navigate this complex legal landscape carefully to ensure that it complies with all relevant laws and regulations. Stay tuned to see how this unfolds. The future of Zomato's ticket resale feature will depend on how well the company can navigate these legal challenges and ensure compliance with all relevant laws.